All right, for this step, we're putting the motors on. I'm using the Emax 2204 motors, which are great little guys. Uh, real powerful, especially in three cells, 2300 kV. Runs a six inch prop, does a very good job, lots of power. So I've used these before, so I'm using the layout as I did before. The silver motor, front right, black, front left, silver motor, uh, back left, black motor, back right. The kit comes with motor mounting screws, uh, but the Emax kits or motors also include the motor mounting screws. You can use, I'm using the long screws in the motor kit. It's got short and long. The long ones seem to work just fine. I've got the two front ones on. As you can see, I haven't soldered this up yet because I still have to test, make sure they're spinning the right direction. Um, but that's the, uh, that's the bottom. And then the front, yeah, I got my little FPV on there. Um, we're gonna put these upside down like this. This will be hanging up like that. I really can't wait to fly the ship, see how it handles with these motors like this. Uh, I, I'm really excited. I really can't wait to fly it. As you can see here, I also, this is how I'm gonna mount my little transmitter. I drilled a little hole and just put a little uh, coupler there. And that's how I'm gonna mount my FPV camera. But I'll get more into that once we get to the FPV stuff. So let's do that and move on to the next step. All right, so I've got the motors on, as you can see, silver, black, and then here's the top, black, silver. So that's how you would, you know, normally you see the quads like that, where it's getting crazy and flipping it upside down. So I've got all four motors mounted on there now. I've kind of figured out my layout of how I'm going to do everything. What I think I'm going to do... Got my four speed controllers. I'm going to take these two speed controllers, the top two, and wire them together at the power. These two wires together. So we got the red and blacks together, and and they connect that to a connector to connect up the power distribution board. So that if I need to pull the top off, all I do is disconnect it there, and then uh, you know it'll be easy to take the top off. I like being able to take the top off because it's easy to work on the insides with the top piece off. And then the video transmitter is gonna go right here. Our camera is gonna go up front. We're gonna mount a GoPro type camera up here. We're gonna go flight controllers right here. Let's see. Right like that, power distribution board. I think I'm gonna do power distribution board here and then mount this on top of the power distribution board with the speed controllers probably mounted underneath just to keep it clean, kind of like this, so you don't see them. And then that will give us plenty of room. If you can see here, I'll move this up just a little bit. I'll get this out of the way. If we have that there, you can easily stick a 22, that's a 2800 milliamp battery. This, this thing's gonna fly for 15, 20 minutes. So we'll see how that works. But that's what we got so far, and uh, the next step will be to test out the motors and get the speed controller on there, or the um, flight controller and the power distribution on, and then wire up the FPV stuff. 